Understanding the phrase, Pigeon Magnet, an English Learning Guide. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English Learning Series. Today, we're going to explore a unique and interesting phrase, Pigeon Magnet. This phrase might sound a bit unusual, but it's a great example of how colorful and creative the English language can be. So, let's dive in and find out what it means and how you can use it in your conversations. The phrase, pigeon magnet, is not a common English idiom, but rather a humorous and imaginative expression. It could be used to describe someone or something that attracts pigeons or, more broadly, any kind of unwanted attention or situation. Imagine sitting in a park and suddenly all the pigeons start flocking to you. That's what being a pigeon magnet is like. To understand this phrase, let's break it down. A magnet is an object that attracts certain metals. Now, imagine this concept applied to pigeons. If someone is a pigeon magnet, it's as if they have an invisible force that draws pigeons to them. It's a vivid way to describe a situation where someone finds themselves the unintended focus of attention. Much like how a magnet unintentionally attracts metal objects. While pigeon magnet isn't a standard phrase, it's an excellent example of how you can play with language to create new expressions. You could use it humorously to describe your friend who always seems to attract birds in the park, or metaphorically to talk about someone who always seems to find themselves in awkward situations. English is a language that allows for a lot of creativity. By combining words like pigeon and magnet, you can create a vivid and humorous image. This flexibility is what makes English fun to learn and use. Feel free to experiment with creating your own phrases and expressions. I hope you found this exploration of the phrase pigeon magnet both fun and educational. English is a rich and flexible language, full of possibilities for creative expression. Remember, learning a language is not just about rules and vocabulary. It's also about playing with words and enjoying the process. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to be creative with your English. See you in the next video.